Alrighty guys, real quick, as you can see, we got it in. This is the new engine, the Pentastar. Y'all remember the one? Ooh, I'm about to clean this up. I can't put this on the new engine. Anyway, we got the new engine in, guys. Now, let me show y'all something. Let me go over something with y'all right quick. Now, that was a new engine. Here's the old engine that we just replaced. Remember, it was sludged up and overheated and just cooked, all right? Yes, we just have to go back for a core, so we're putting that in the box. But y'all know what your boy about to do? Now, this is a Gen 3. Everybody and their mama know that these camshafts are on intergalactical. I always have a hard time with that word. Back order. All right. But your boy. Yeah, I'm not having that. Uh, We're going to hang on to this. Guys, remember what I told y'all. There's no reason to replace these camshafts unless they're damaged or that tone wheel is out of specs or bent or warped or anything like that. But other than that, don't just be replacing these. That's why we out. Reckless ass mechanics out there replacing them just because they're in there. Okay, so I'm going to set this right here. Remember, you don't want to get anything on that uh, magnetic tone wheel. But yeah, I'm getting all of these. Now, some people think this exhaust cam is the same as a Gen 1 or 2. They're not, guys. It's a different part number, so I wouldn't chance that. They look similar. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, this is they both 3.6 Pentastar. However, this is a Gen 3 with different valve train. Okay, notice you see these rock arms, the way they built, design. Yeah, totally different monster, okay? Uh, supposedly to combat the ticking issue we was having. However, I'm hearing stories of, we still having a few ticking issues. But anyway, your boy, I don't need these rock arms. I don't never reuse rock arms and, and lash adjusters or lifters. However, I will be uh, taking these camshafts out of here. All of them. I want all four. When they get this reman engine back or get this engine back in the box, there won't be no camshafts in it. And I hope they don't call looking for them. Where's the camshaft? All right, because remember, they on back order. So I now have a set uh, that I can use. Now, the engine was sludge, but you can't really damage the camshaft because it's sludge. Uh, the engine overheated a little bit. Can you damage? Is there a risk in using a used camshaft out of an aluminum overheated engine? Ah, the camshaft is not technically aluminum. However, what it's attached to is built from aluminum i don't know guys what y'all think all right your engine heads out there will i be taking a chance using reusing these camshafts on a I, it's all gonna be on a side job i can't use used camshafts on on customer cars okay i do side work as well i work out of four shops those shops uh they can't get camshafts they call me you got camp no i don't have any new camshafts or old camshaft however i do now because i'm about to rip this engine apart right before i put it in this crate and give it back that's a new cooler that go on the uh, the new engine yeah we got finally got that engine and guys remember when i told y'all y'all see this plate all right they did away or they trying to come back the oil gallery plus walking remember they used to just back off on their own yeah it's a gen 3 so uh yeah newer engine but you still gotta take care of it golly you still gotta not let it overheat and change the oil this thing takes zero w20 synthetic how did you build sludge up on <laughs> okay I don't want to get into that, but that's all I have. I uh, took the time and apart to show some people about this special tool that's garbage from Amazon. Don't get the Amazon special tool. Get the Mopar. If you can find it, good luck with that. Guys, I'm out of time. I got to go. Thanks for watching.